Hey babies! So today's video is going to be a little story time vlog. I am going to tell you guys about the time that I auditioned for Ballers with The Rock. And uh, it wasn't that long ago, but uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys about that. And I'm also going to show you guys the audition tape. So if you want to check it out, stay tuned. I'm just going to go grab some coffee. I'll be right back to get things started. Okay, so we got the lights, we got the camera, we got the microphone, and most importantly, we got the coffee. Anyway guys, thank you for tuning in. This video is going to be lots of fun. It's gonna be a really cool video because I'm gonna share with you guys my audition for Ballers. And yeah, if you're new to my channel, why don't you just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that little red button right there. You know, and there's a bell somewhere too. Hit that bell too, so you get notified supposedly when I post a new video. Because this is the cool channel. Yes, I make videos on beauty, fashion, and fun. So stay tuned for that. Let's get to the vlog. So, a little backstory about me. I'm originally from Holland. Yes, I'm from Europe. And I moved out here to California. And when I moved here, I started doing auditions for like, you know, TV shows, uh, commercials, movies, and all that stuff. So I was constantly in and out of LA doing these auditions. And I took like a gazillion acting classes. A small fortune, yes. I just figured this would be a cool video if you are an aspiring actress or person who wants to work in Hollywood and you know do the whole LA thing and everything I could give you some tips I could talk about it I could share you what's really going on behind the scenes of these auditions that's all I'm gonna say right now because that's a whole other 10 more videos so if you want to see more of those kinds of stories go ahead and comment Hollywood below in the comments and I'll make sure to check it out and if you guys want to hear more of these kind of stories and get some tips and tricks about the whole auditioning process then uh, yeah comment Hollywood below okay now let's get to it so anyways I've been to auditions at the major studios Warner Brothers NBC ABC MTV BET you name it I've been there so I think I have all the experience needed to you know talk to you guys about this but um, yeah luckily I was fortunate enough to also book quite a few things you know so I'm not complaining there anyways back to ballers so it happened I mean I've been auditioning for a long time ever since I got here I'm still auditioning to this day it's just not as you know, I kind of control it more now because I'm on social media and social media is kind of taking over everything. Uh, so I'm more in control of it myself now rather than my agent or manager or all that stuff, you know? So it's kind of cool. But um, yeah, the Ballers audition. Let me tell you guys about that. I was just sitting around one day and I checked my email and I got this email and at first I was like, yeah, right, whatever, you know, because I get a lot of emails and some of them are questionable, you know, but this particular email, I'll just, you know, read to you guys. It came from some casting agent and to keep it short, they basically saw my social media and, you know, they had an emergency casting for the HBO hit show Ballers and who doesn't no ballers and love ballers and you know I was like oh that's really really cool you know if it's the real deal that would be really cool but the story goes on so the email reads and I'm reading it right now I'm just gonna share a little bit of uh, the email with you guys um, it's for a small speaking role and we need someone uh, to commit right away you know we are looking for several people uh, you know so we have to make a decision and you know I was like uh, okay so if I'm interested I have to respond to the email you know and uh, they apologized for the short time frame and all that stuff I was like okay hmm, yeah I don't know see normally in the past I you know 
they would go through my agent and manager and all that stuff. But now with social media and being out there like that, people just approach you right away. So you either have to refer them to your agent or manager or take care of it yourself. So I kind of did a little bit of both. So long story short, I responded to the email just out of curiosity, you know, but uh, having had all the experience that I had, I know that you have to be very, very careful of who you trust in this business. I am going to be the first person to say that if you are a minor, always, 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 always make sure you have a parent with you no matter where you go. Okay, so that's number one. Just, you know, a little, little itty bit of advice. Um, now, I have the experience behind me. I've been through all kinds of auditions, so I kind of knew I could spot a dirt bag from a mile away. Let's just put it that way. Um, but anyways, so I responded to the email and um, they sent an email back to my surprise because I was like, yeah, right, whatever, you know. So since it was so last minute, the next email I received asked me if I could put something on tape so they could look at it, you know, like an audition, which is very normal. You know, if you are familiar with the whole acting scene in Hollywood, then you know that putting stuff on tape and sending a tape in with your audition is very normal. So they went ahead and gave me the email address because they wanted me to go straight to production, to the production crew, so not to the casting people. The tape was gonna go straight to production. So, went ahead and was all into it. So they sent me a script and they told me to pick a scene from the script and just film it and put it on tape. And I picked the scene uh, where I played this girl, Kimmy, for obvious reasons, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I picked this scene and I started studying the scene and going over it and stuff. And from the whole script, that seemed like the only part that actually would show some acting ability, you know? Although the part I was going up for, I believe it said something like, I was gonna play like the crazy girlfriend for the main character or something, something in that nature. So I picked the scene and I ended up filming the scene, which I am going to show you guys. And please comment below to let me know what you think of my scene. Did I do a good job? Did I suck? Let me know. Before I go on with the story, let me just show you guys the audition. Check it out. Baby, I love you. And I love you, babe. Do you really? You sure? Why are you asking me that? You know I do. How much? More than anything, but why are you always trying to quantify things? I don't know, maybe I just like to hear you say it? Well then I'll say it again. I love you, baby, more than anything. Anything, so more than football? More than ball. More than your Rookie of the Year trophy? Yep. How about your Super Bowl ring? Even more than that. So you would do anything for me, because I would do anything for you. Yeah. Even kill myself. Anything. I would absolutely do anything for you. Even leave your wife? You motherfucker! I knew oh, it! Oh, relax. Relax? Relax! You told me you were separated. And I am. You lying piece of shit. I checked. So, the scene that you just saw, I emailed it, and I was just really thinking, I'm never gonna hear anything, nothing's gonna come from this, you know, because it's, you know, Hollywood, and it's like cattle call and all this stuff. But then, the production guy I sent it to actually got back to me, and I was like, oh, this is kind of different. And he basically told me he liked the scene and everything, and everything was all cool and all that, and he was gonna let me know in a couple of weeks, what the whether I got the part or not and what the next step was and all that stuff and he also asked me if I could send more stuff if there's anything else that I wanted him to see I could send it and at that point I was like hmm okay and now you gotta understand this video that you guys just watched I spent hours going over the script practicing rehearsing and all that I'm not gonna lie I went over it, I wanted that part, yes. So for him to come back at me with like, do you have anything else that we can see? I was like, really dude? 
seriously no you know that was like really kind of you know I mean I basically told him you can look at my YouTube you can look at my Instagram and you can look at my reel if you want I can send you that too so I sent him all those links and then I was like you know what really does he mean is there anything else that you want us to see because you know it's baller so you're thinking you know boobs and all that stuff at that point I was like you know I've already moved on I was like I'm just gonna have to let it go because if I you know dwell on it too much it's just gonna eat at me and it's gonna nag me and all that stuff because I'm like a serious perfectionist and if something doesn't go my way I tend to like dwell on it and go why not me why not it used to be really really bad in the beginning when I first started auditioning and I wouldn't get the part I would like be devastated and you know I would just it would just eat at me and it was so much pressure it was incredible and that's why I feel, wanted to make this video because over time as you get more used to rejection because you have to be able to take rejection over time you get better at it now I'm at the point where it's like okay if I don't get the part it's fine it's fine I'm gonna do me I'm doing my own thing you know I'm good and if it's not meant for me then God didn't mend it for me and then you know whatever's meant for me will come my way anyways so that was kind of my mindset but in the back of my head it's still kind of nagging you know and all you actresses out there who go on these auditions you know what I'm talking about anyways needless to say your girl didn't get the part well I have to say I don't really didn't get rejected it was just kind of like an open ending kind of thing where you know the show came on TV and went off TV season ended and I hadn't heard anything back so that was the end of my little ballers adventure you know it's always fun and exciting to do stuff like that because you never know what might happen so i love the show love the rock love the whole cast awesome and i love the opening tune to ballers Doo -doo -doo -doo. having said all that this video is a little bit all over the place and I think it's a combination of me having two hours of sleep, the lights being really hot, and me drinking coffee on top of that. It's just all bad. But I wanted to make this video, so let me know what you guys thought of my little audition. I have a lot more stuff that I can show you guys when it comes to acting and Hollywood and going on auditions and what to expect and what really to expect. It's good. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go into detail yet, but uh, if you guys wanna hear more, make sure you comment Hollywood below the video and I'll make sure to take care of you guys, okay? So, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this video and I will be back again next week with another video.